Uh, okay, it was um, a good start to, to spring. Uh, a lot different than last year, the first day. Obviously, there's uh, more familiarity with the way we like to do things and the tempo we like to work out. And uh, I thought that the, the players came out here today and worked well. And, uh, you know, obviously, we've got a long ways to go, but it was a good start for us. And they were into it, and uh, it was fun. So it's good to be back out here again. That's what we like to do. You know, we like to, all of us, we like to be on the grass coaching and playing. And so when you get that opportunity, uh, you just feel a little, little, little spark in their stuff. Okay. I guess I'll start it off. What are okay. your expectations for the season? Well, I, I, my, I don't, I haven't gone that far yet. You know, my expectations right. are to have a good practice every day right now. That's, that's what we look at is, uh, it's spring right now, and so we have to do is make improvements every day, and uh, that's basically it. Then how do you think today looked as a first practice? Well, I was impressed with the way they practiced today. You know, I mean, obviously it's not perfect, and there's a long ways to go, but compared to where we were a year ago at this time, um, you know, they understand the expectations, and they understand the tempo and the pace that we want to work at, and we were much more efficient and uh, not as many mistakes, which there shouldn't be. So we just have to keep working that way. Is secondary depth a concern, or do you just kind of look at it, the fact that you know, you're going to have several guys coming in the fall and you just have to get through the spring? Well, it is what it is. You know, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, we've got four really good players coming in in the, in the fall, in the summer. And uh, until they get here, uh, it's good for everyone to get the work that they're getting. So it's exciting to see Dietrich back out here. Randall did a nice job. Anthony Jefferson's getting more work. You know, we hadn't seen Ishmael out here for quite a while, and he, he looked good, although he's got the red jersey on, but, but he still moved around well. So it'll give it'll give some of the guys a chance to get more reps and develop. What did you see from Dietrich? Uh, I don't know how much you got a chance to watch him specifically, um, but just being his first time back. Well, he looked comfortable, and I think the fact that last year he was able to do a lot of the scout team work and non-contact stuff, so he was out here getting a, getting himself familiar with the, you know, reacquainting himself with the movements that you need to be able to execute to play that position and the communication and things like that. Uh, so he, he fit right in today. You know, he wasn't rusty. He looked, he looked fine. Now, I think the big step for Dietrich is going to be when, when contact starts occurring. You know, because he has to work his way through that emotion. It's different when you start hitting people. Yeah. Are you conscious of trying to ease the, ease the team back into practice mode a little bit more? Maybe with the you know, We try to just jump in and go. You know, really, that's kind of our, our honestly, it's our philosophy. Is just don't pace yourself, go. And uh, I, I think that we can do that now. You know, there's really no reason to ease into it because they know what they're doing. And they understand, like I said, the expectations. So, uh, yeah, we're light at a couple positions. You know, we're a little bit light in, on the offensive line. Uh, like Gatorade? We're a little bit light in the secondary. But we just, we got to become accustomed to it. We just got to go out and practice hard and, and play. What do you see from Fabian Moreau since you're so shallow there? He looked today. good today. You know, one day he made some good plays in one-on-one. -on -one. He, he understands how to play the position much better. You know, that was kind of a shocker to him last year. And, you know, in the middle of the season, I don't know, probably wasn't the, quite the middle, but it was, you know, we're in the season. We say, hey, go over there and play some corner, which was really foreign to him. But he's worked hard, and uh, he looks a lot more natural at that position. He's got the length you like. He's got the speed and quickness and change of direction you like at that position. I think for Fabian, it's just getting experience playing at the, at the position. But uh, I thought today he, he looks so much more natural than he ever did last year. How'd some of the freshmen look today? Well, the only freshmen, you mean like the new guys that mm -hmm. are just here for the first time? Uh, and I guess we could consider Jeremy a freshman. Uh, Jeremy did well. You know, it's his first day out here with this type of tempo and the speed that we go at, so it was a little bit of a shock to him. Uh, Kylie, can you imagine being in Kylie's shoes? He hasn't even attended a class yet. He moved into his dorm this weekend. He's out here, he's supposed to be in high school, and he's out here running around with these guys. And I asked him afterwards how it was, and he said it was good. He said, I just have to adjust to the, to the size, speed, and tempo. But I think he did pretty well. Now he's got to go to couple classes so he's going to be by the end of the day he's going to be a, he's going to be blown out 
you know, <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how he is tomorrow. If he can get out of bed. How far off do you think Eldridge is from being getting rid of the red jersey and being on? My gut feeling is that we'll probably see him in the red jersey the entire spring. I think that we have to make sure that we're doing the right thing with him. He's a young player, he's a talented player, he hasn't had this injury before. And so we want to make sure that we don't force him on the field too soon. I think if he can do more and more every day, but stay in that red jersey, he'll gain confidence in his knee. Uh, he'll still be getting the work that he needs to get, you know, the mental work. Uh, and then when we get to, to San Bernardino, hopefully we can just turn him loose. How are you expecting from Brett Hundley today, first day back? Or are you expecting just to hit the ground running and pick up where he left yeah. up? Really, honestly, yes. Yeah. And I think he did. Uh, he's worked really hard this winter. You know, these guys have had a lot of seven-on-seven -seven sessions by themselves, and he's been a real leader with that. And uh, I think the chemistry with, with the receivers is uh, much stronger than it's ever been. And he, he just looked in command and in control today. I'm not saying every throw was perfect or every play was perfect, but the aura that he presented to everybody was, hey, let's go. You know, we understand what we're supposed to do. Let's do it. And I thought he I thought he handled it well. And I, I expect him to get better every day in that area. You ready to name him the starter? So we're penciling him in. And we don't need to go through all that. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you guys want to. That's just punting. <laughs> we are looking for a punter. So if any of you guys can punt. We're trying to, you don't have a punter on the roster right now. Coach, how does that affect the team with uh, Hanley established as a starter you know, starting quarterback competition this spring? Well, there's just there's no uncertainty as to who's going to be your starting quarterback. So, uh, you know, last year at this time when we were, it was really a three or four man kind of competition. Uh, the receivers didn't always, you know, they, they had to adjust to four different guys throwing the ball to them. And so what you want to do is establish a chemistry on offense, not only between the receivers and the quarterback, but the back and the quarterback and the cadence and the communication and all of those things. And it's different with every guy. It's just a little bit different. And so now that Brett's a starter and he's firmly established, uh, I think it'll just help us build chemistry as an offense and consistency as an offense. And then also um, Ellis looked like he had some conditioning work. Was that conditioning related, injury related? Well, he had the knee that we had uh, the sur he had the surgery, the scope on after the season, uh -huh. and uh, he should be back out here in a day or two. But we wanted to just ease him back in, you know, uh, make sure that he's where he needs to be physically before we put him back on the field. But it's he's fine. He just has to. We just want to make sure he's strong and healthy, and he doesn't need any more setbacks. Okay. All right. Thanks.